This is Mike, aka Sweet Left Foot, still improving by the way. Apparently we look alike, don't see it myself. Anyway, Mike set me a challenge to score 100 goals in a season with one player, and oh boy, did I give it a good go. Now, if you'd like to win a brand new Omega Loot Gaming hat, which will be available soon, by the way, to purchase for free, then please let me know down in the comments what creator you'd like to see on the next Challenge Me video, and I'll pick one at random. And while you're down there, caress the YouTube algorithm by smashing that like button. Hello, Mike. Question. Off the top of your head, what is the highest that you'd say roughly you think a player has scored in one season that you've seen? In one season, I think I've seen about 60 to 70 goals. Yeah, high amount then, really. That is quite high, isn't it? Higher than, than what you'd expect, I think. Higher than what you'd expect. Yeah. So I asked you on this very first Challenge Me video to pick a challenge for me to simulate. And to confirm, you gave me the challenge of 100 goals in a season and five years to do so, correct? That is correct. And what player did you pick me for this challenge? I gave you the Norwegian wonder kid himself, Erling Haaland. Before we get into this though, percentage wise, how achievable do you think this is on Football Manager to do it within five years? In five years, I'd, I'd give this about a 70% chance. Really? That's high. I, I've, I've got reasons. <laughs> All right, okay. Okay, start of season one. What's your game plan here? What do you fo what would you focus on? Tactics, signing set pieces, what would you go for? So if it was me, signing-wise, I'd be signing creative players, uh, someone with fantastic vision, fantastic passing uh, and technique that can unlock defences. Uh, personally, I'd be playing Haaland on his own up front, just so I know he is going to be the main goal-getter. And I think from set pieces, if I'm whipping balls into him from corners, throw-ins or free kicks, um, I'd be aiming for him every time. So first I picked the Burning Hammer tactic. I then selected Haaland to take all penalties, free kicks and be at the near post for corners. Genius play. I then started training him in the preferred role and began training a player trait to help him score. And with that, we began simulating season number one. So first season, in 30 league games, he scored 45 goals. In total, he scored 72, but only in 46 games. And I think this is where we come across a problem here, Mike. There is simply not enough games in the Bundesliga. They have a shorter amount, well, they have a shorter season than most other leagues. The, the problem is as well, is that there's only one cup competition and it's, it's not two-legged, it's just one-legged straight through, I think six rounds. So that's only yeah. sort of six or seven extra games. You've got the European games. And if he's averaging two goals per game in the league, that's eight goals you're missing out on straight away. Yep. I moved him to PSG, Ooh. which has has two reasons. They, they play more games and they are more dominant in their league and possibly in Europe too. Ooh. Yes, we transferred into PSG legitimately, might I add, for 120 million, loaded the Burning Hammer tactic, brought in some new friends, and set the set pieces and lineup to go again. Okay, 47 league goals. We are still some way off here, Mike. He has only played 49 total games as well and scored 67 in those 49. So he's still getting way more than per game, but competitions wise, knocked out the first round by Barcelona in the Champions League, that's not done us any favors. No, that's immediately, if you if you get to the final, I think that's an extra uh, five games there. And like you yeah. said, if he's averaging two goals a game uh, or around that mark, that's 10 goals that have just disappeared. Yeah, we do win the Coupe de France and we do win Ligue 1 quite easily as well by an astonishing amount of points. So that's that's quite ridiculous, really. Um, and I think he's underperformed, if anything. Yeah, I do think Haaland has underperformed with Mbappe next to him uh, potentially as the provider for Haaland. I expect him to score more in the league. Uh, the Champions League is just unfortunate, but I think he needs to be cracking around 60 goals in a league for this to have a good chance of happening. Player trait training added. Trent Alexander-Arnold added. We go again. 
So you ready for this? 53 league goals. But again, first round knockout of the Champions League has cost us. And he only got a total of 77 goals throughout the whole season. Again, you're missing out on five Champions League games. But 77 goals, I think, overall. 23 goals to make up in five games leaves you a lot of work to do. He's either got yeah. to be scoring more goals in the Coupe de France or Ligue 1. The good old phantom menace tactic. It causes chaos. Just what I need. Jose Gaia, a world-class left-back. Also what I need. Better supply to that big man. So we win the Champions League the league, and we actually lose the cup final to my French team, Strasbourg, 2-0 in the final. Hazard a guess at the total goal tally, Mike. Our best yet. So, so you've played the maximum amount of games you possibly can, even though you lost in the final. I'm going to yeah. say 84. Oh, you are close. You are very close, my friend. Okay, 63 league goals in total, 82 across the whole season. 82. We're still some way off, but that is progress. But another 18 goals to be scored in the maximum amount of games you've played is a really tough ask. Yeah. Uh, interesting facts about this season as well. He missed five penalties across the season. He also had 30 assists. So what I'm annoyed with is the fact that if you look at Mbappe... <laughs> He scored 60 goals this season. So at this point, Mike, you have the best team in the world. Every player is pretty much world class. A tactic which scores goals, two tactics really that scores goals. What do you do to get over the line within the laws of the game in Football Manager? Luke, I generally don't know what else you can do. If you've got your tactics set up specifically for Haaland, so he's the target from all dead ball situations. He's the penalty taker. He's the free kick taker. You've got, like you said, a world class team that are looking to feed him the ball so he can score. You've got providers from the wings, from defence, uh, from in behind him. I, I don't know. You, you know, you've trained people to look for him. Generally don't know what else you could do to try and hit this 100 goal target. So what I actually did, and this is absolutely genius, by the way, <laughs> I waited until the January transfer deadline day and I bought as many of League Earn's goalkeepers as I possibly could. <laughs> Now, a lot wouldn't come, but I actually got 14 keepers from 13 teams out of the other 19. All first so, <laughs> choice too, by the way. About 70 million spent on goalkeepers that are essentially going to be bench warmers. <laughs> You've got a fair share of goalkeepers there that are not going to play for you uh, and therefore hopefully going to make the teams that Holland is playing against uh, significantly weaker. Yes, I bought as many of the league's goalkeepers as possible. It's not breaking any rules and I need all the help I can get for this challenge. I also switched back to the Burning Hammer for one last time. We went on holiday. So Mike, this was our best one so far. At Christmas alone, Haaland had 47 goals in total. So he's kind of bang on halfway through and he kind of is halfway through the goals tally as well. But at the end of season five, I can tell you PSG had 107 points, 113 plus 113 goal difference. Wow. They were cup winners. They were quarter finalists of the Champions League and Erling Haaland had a grand total of 94 goals oh. in one season so close i think the quarter final departure probably cost us really uh, i he had 65 league goals too in 36 games and 16 goals in the champions league alone in 11 games i do think the champions league has oh, that's so close that i think that's let you down those extra was it quarterfinals you went out yeah, quarterfinals so, to Manchester United again, I think. No, Real Madrid. That's annoying. So the semi, the two semi-final games and the final, all you needed was six more goals. You would have been there. You would have done it. That That is what's let you down. That's 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 annoying. I think the last thing that we needed to, to take us over the line was a bit of luck. Yeah. If um, we had the, the Champions League final this season, maybe so. If, or, if only as well, he managed to score his other two penalties. Along with that, I think we would have been looking... At a hundred goal season, unfortunately.
Yeah, I completely agree. Nine out of 11 penalties, the two more would have been 96 and three more games. You'd think he would have been able to get four goals given his uh, incredible record in every single competition. I think if, if you did win the Champions League, like you said, if that was this year, I think we would have seen it. Well, thank you for joining me, Michael. It's always a pleasure. Twitch.tv forward slash Sweet Left Foot is where we can find you. Yep, that is where you can find me. It's been an absolute pleasure to, to set you this challenge, Luke. I've enjoyed it. Uh, something different, something new. And hopefully you'll have me back. I look forward to, to thinking of a few more challenges and, and giving them to you to try again. And hopefully the next one you, you can actually achieve, Luke. Uh, well, only watch Mike live, of course, if I'm not on. Uh, and you are on YouTube <laughs> as well. So again, watch my videos first. But links to all of Mike's will be down in the description. Goodbye, Mike. I'm sorry I let you down, my friend. It's right. I'm, I'm used to it now from you, Luke. Don't worry. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, unfortunately I did fail this challenge, but it can be done, 100 goals in a season can be done, and maybe another content creator will come on a challenge me video in the future and pick the same challenge, and that time I'll smash it. But who do you want to see? That is what you need to do, you need to let me know down in the comments for a chance to win a free Omega Luke snapback. And while you're on your way down there, smash that like button, maybe even hit the subscribe, because there's plenty more. Hopefully, as long as you keep recommending more people. See you soon. Bye-bye.